Hi, Wesley here with another edition of the Mesonet Weather Report. The problem with Oklahoma summers is that when we get in a rut, we tend to stay there for a while. Rainfall was great in June and the first half of July, but then the water taps turned off. This five-day rainfall map from Wednesday shows that just a few fractions of an inch of rain fell mainly in the northeast. The prospects for rain continue to be slim throughout the weekend and likely much longer. This rain forecast map printed midweek includes all the rain expected through Sunday. You can clearly see the high-pressure heat dome keeping Oklahoma and Texas dry. The heat appears to be fully in control for now. Highs on Tuesday were in the hundreds in the west and mostly high 90s in the east. Add the humidity to this situation and you get a heat index, especially in the east, of another 10 degrees or so. This map through Tuesday shows sites where we have seen 100 degree temperatures are really starting to stack up. By the end of the week and probably over the next few weeks, there will be very few, if any, zeros on this map. The rut should continue into and through next week as indicated by all of the red on this temperature forecast map. Now here's Gary with more rain details. Thanks Wes and good morning everyone. Well, a true Oklahoma summer uh, actually showed up finally. Lots of heat, as Wes mentioned. Uh, rainfall went away. We got a lot of sunshine, some strong southwesterly winds. What's that mean for the drought monitor? Let's get straight to that new map and take a look. Well, actually, our drought map looks pretty good. We had a little bit of improvement up in far northwestern and north central Oklahoma, which got a good swath of rain last week. Otherwise, we're holding steady. Uh, no real pressure on the map just yet, even though we're starting to miss that rainfall a little bit. Speaking of that rainfall or the lack thereof, we do see on the uh, Mesonet map of the consecutive days with less than a quarter inch of rainfall. Uh, we are student starting to get up into about two weeks uh, since we've had a good rain over about the southern half of the state. Again, that northern half has had a rain last week, um, but we are starting to see a little bit more dry weather come in uh, to the state over the last couple of weeks. We can see that on the 14 day rainfall map. Uh, again, that southern half, or really two-thirds of the state, a little bit low on rainfall, generally less than a quarter inch, less than a half inch, a little bit more or less here or there, but that northern half of the state got the, the good rains above an inch generally, in some cases above two to three inches. So uh, the, the real problem areas aren't showing up just yet. It's just getting dry. Not too unusual for uh, the latter part of July, of course. Now here's something interesting as we look at the difference between last year at this time and this year at this time. Look at this relative greenness map from the Oklahoma Mesonet that we saw last year, uh, July 26, 2022. Basically the western half of the state in dire drought conditions due to that flash drought, especially the panhandle, um, very, uh, very dry out across this part of the state. The eastern half of the state, not too bad, but it was certainly getting drier and starting to head into drought. Then we look at the map from this week. What a difference uh, a year makes, especially out in the panhandle. I'm not sure we've seen the panhandle that green in any recent times uh, in July. So certainly good, good news for those folks and also over much of the state. Just a little bit of a, a dry area showing up down in far southwest Oklahoma. And of course the wheat belt is also showing uh, not as green since uh, because those, uh, those crops have been harvested um, and we got a lot of bare fields out there. So, uh, but again, uh, a, a big difference since uh, last year at this time, and uh, we certainly welcome uh, those rains that we've had. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.